This once uncharted landscape was sacred ground for the nomadic Native American Indians that returned to its riverbanks like bloodlines to the heart. As history tells it, I'm from the Lower Creek, from the Eufaula Band of the Star Clan of the Muscogee Nation. The stories my family told me were that uh, a long time ago we were called the Anikusa. Anikusa was uh, virtually the people of peace. And so actually Flat Rock called Kusawati. It was the Kusawati of Flat Rock, the place where peaceful people gather. Our people moved a lot, contrary to what a lot of people think. We moved our camps every seven years. So we'd move up creek or down creek for seven years and then recycle the land like that. We believed then that, uh, you know, the white people took care of um, the air, you know, that the uh, black people took care of the earth, that the red people took care of the fire. There are a lot of people married to one another, you know, and so you might be a, an Irish guy with a Cherokee wife or a, a Creek wife or a Creek guy with a French wife, you know. And then uh, that's when it all started happening. Then the federal government came down here and decided this is the way it should be. Now, well, the, the settlers sided with the natives. Natives, you know, we were all in this together. We had, we had already intermarried. And so when the federal government said, all the Indians gotta go to Oklahoma, everybody was upset. It split up a lot of families. And so when the United States, when the federal government wanted to take away the land, the rebels, the red sticks, the insurgents, fought to keep their home. The Trail of Tears in the stories that I've heard was kind of the, um, the apex of the bad days. There was like at least 10 uh, holding tanks up here in North Georgia before they sent them out there. It took 10 years to get everybody out there. It started around 1830 and by 1840, pretty much everybody that was gonna go was out there before things got so bad. People ran to the mountains. Our people went down to Southern Alabama where nobody would follow them. Seminoles went down to Florida. You know, people scattered. But that's pretty much, and it was a horrible, you know, I really don't enjoy reliving the stories that I've been told about what occurred on that trip. Only to tell you it was one of the most horrible atrocities ever committed against an indigenous people.